The original long boiler concept was designed in 1842 by George Stevenson, but in 1852 William Bouch adopted the design as a standard goods engine for the Stockton and Darlington Railway, and 22 years later the 1001s as they became known totaled 192 engines. The beauty of this design was the 13 foot long boiler, designed to maximise heating surface while minimising fuel consumption. The overall heating surface was 1,321.75 square feet, but the firebox only made up 92.5 square feet of that. The idea was to allow the engine to sustain pressure on goods trains with plenty of long stops without having to constantly build up the fire. For such a long engine, the wheelbase is just 11 feet and 10 inches, with all of the driving wheels positioned in front of the firebox. Useful for lowering the centre of gravity, but the long overhang gave some dreadful oscillation when going round curves. Heaven forbid what would happen if these things ended up on passenger trains. This example, built by Dubs of Glasgow in 1874, carried four boilers in her lifetime, the last one being a second-hand Worsdall one from 1906. She was the only one to pass into LNER ownership, being withdrawn from service on February 16th, 1923 and restored to take part in the Stockton and Darlington centenary celebrations in 1925. Thanks to her custodianship in LNER hands, the engine eventually passed into the National Collection. Interestingly, number 1275 ended her working life on local goods trains along what is now the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Am I the only one who's imagining what it must have been like to see her slogging up the southbound climb to Gothland?